and now I'm going to cover a boolean uh, data type and create one more folder uh, that is called um, boolean and click OK and uh, so right click on the boolean and click on add and create a new sequence that is a uh, boolean demo so if I say boolean and it means true or false okay so uh, let me cover in a different uh, example let's say amazon.in so here you see sign in so let me check uh, extension here everything is available and let me go back to go to UiPath studio and there is an activity called element exist okay element exist so here you see there is an activity called element exist so in UI automation we used to say elements so in the back end uh, studio here and click on indicate on screen and just highlight on the button signing and that's it so if you create a variable control k uh, that is uh, let's say sign in sign in ex exist okay and go to your variable panel you see here there is a sign in exist variable name the variable type automatically picked a boolean okay which means true or false it will store true or false so let me drag and drop right line in order to check result okay drag and drop right line and uh, just call sign in dot exist and you see now dot to string because the right line always it will accept a uh, string only okay now you step into now you see the result printed as true okay because uh, while checking the um, result uh, so there is a button available here so let's say I'm moving into uh, some other place okay so this is as that this is my place and now I'm going to check it step into and uh, exist so it will take some time to uh, check whether the button is available or not so if it is not available on the page and it will say come and say uh, false uh, result now you see uh, the activity executed and uh, now you step into you can see false result here okay that means this particular activity it's unable to identify sign in button on the web page so so those kind of uh, though I mean those particular uh, scenario and uh, we can use this boolean uh, variable so it, that just it will store either true or false okay that's it that's all about true or false and based on the true or false you can make decisions so you can use some if conditions saying that uh, hey uh, if the button is exist true you can go and do this let's say if sign in button exist default it is true and if it is true go and do something if it is not true do something like that you can add if condition as well if you want okay and that's it. Thank you.